Today I'm going to show you how to make this spreadsheet, a personal monthly budget spreadsheet, and primarily just showing you how to format and how to enter in some formulas to make this work easily. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is just copy my formatted data and paste it right over here and then I'm going to unformat it because I want to show you how I format it. So we're going to have the unformatted over here and then we're going to try to recreate what I have over here. Now first of all you can see that I shrink, uh, narrowed the width of column A so I'm going to take get a double headed arrow between E and F, shrink that down and next thing I did was over B, C, and D. You'll notice B is a little bit wider than F is. And I wanted a little more space for these guys. So, and we can adjust these more later as we need just to make it look right. Uh, but you'll notice that this guy, when I click on it, it highlights B, C, and D for cell one. And so I need to highlight this guy, all three cells, and then go to merge and center. So it looked like it was already on, but I just uh, had to redo it. Now, how did I get that blue font? Real easy way to do that is using the style box up here. And I believe I chose heading one. Now you can choose any heading you'd like, whatever looks good to you. I just chose this one. Now, same thing here for monthly income. So by the way, you're gonna the first thing you're gonna have to do is type in this info. I just copied and pasted mine to make it easy here for sake of speed so you don't have to wait and watch me have to type everything. But once you get it all typed in, the data, then it's really easy to just go through and format just following what I'm doing. So now I highlight these guys and I'm going to put in a heading. I chose accent six. That gives it a good look and the reason I chose the same color top and bottom was to let the user know, okay, here's my monthly income there's my total. And so I like to be consistent. It helps with the eyes when you're looking at it. You know, okay, this is one category, top to bottom. Now the next category I chose for monthly expenses, I chose the orange. You can choose different colors, but I suggest keeping it the same color throughout the category. Then I chose a lighter orange for the subtotal categories, the subcategories, which would be, for example, housing, I believe I chose the 60%. And then down here for subtotal, I'm not sure why I didn't do it all the way across. You can do it all the way across if you want. I kind of like that a little better to have it subtotaled all the way across. Or it looks like I just did this. Maybe I did that so that I could show you guys this other tool. See how there's a double underline? If you highlight the row like I have here, there's also another style called total. It's kind of nice for the reader's eyes. Whenever you see a double underline, usually you know that's a total. Uh, a single underline would be uh, the bottom of a column and double underline, showing that's a sum or a total of something. Just an accounting uh, practice. Now, if I wanted to, and yeah, that's fine. So anyway, uh, then one more thing real quick before I start going down and doing more. I want to show you uh, the dollars. It's called currency formatting. So up here you've got currency format. Now let's say, uh, now if it does a dash that just means it's zero. Notice if I type in a zero, hit enter, puts it as a dash. So I'm not sure if I chose this currency formatting or the other. There's another way to do it. Come down and choose it this way. And so either one works. For some reason this one is a little bit different format. Uh, and I think then this one. This one, notice how it puts the dollar sign out on the left-hand side of the cell uh, of the column. And this one puts the dollar sign up against. I'm not sure why I chose that in this one. You know, I actually personally like this one better. Um, but it, either one is fine. So if you have a little dash in there, don't worry about it. It just means that zero has been entered. And that's that particular format. But to be consistent, I think I'm going to go like this so it matches this guy. And what I would do is highlight all the way down. 
since we're using currency format for all these guys, let's bring it all the way down. And then just simply turn on the currency. Now again, you can use this one, that's fine. Now we need to make a sum function right here. Pretty easy to do using the auto sum. If it is, doesn't show up up here, click on this little down arrow. Oh, and if, if you don't have this toolbar, make sure you just select Home, Home tab, then choose Sum. And notice how smart Excel is. It knows that you want to sum the two cells above it. It'll keep going until there's a break. There's no information. Since there's information in the two above it, I hit Enter. Now when I double click, that formula is there. Another way to see it, I'm going to hit Escape just to get out of this. Another way to see it is anytime you click on any cell, you can look up here at your formula bar. It shows the formula behind without having to double click. So this guy, there's no formula. This guy, no formula. This one, no formula. So I'm going to go down and turn on some functions for all of these guys. Notice by default, as long as it's continuous, it automatically fills in. I hit enter to accept that. If I want to double check it to make sure it's there, I just take a look after I select it. All right, now I'm not going to take the time to go down and do all of these format because I already got these started for you. Um, down at the bottom, I need to show you one more thing, or a couple more things. Uh, first of all, I just highlighted these guys and did the same thing, use the style box. Since it's a total, I used the bolded uh, orange so it matches the top one, telling me that's the beginning of the category, that uh, monthly expenses, and these are all the subcategories. And there's the ending category. Now this needs to be the total of, so notice when I double click, look at that formula. I'm going to hit escape so I don't change the formula. But what did I do? I just simply clicked on this guy, typed in an equals to let Excel know that I'm going to be making a formula. Then I scrolled up without doing any clicking yet, and I clicked on the total of housing category. And notice it's going to show me the formula that I start right up here as I go. Now I'm going to type in a plus sign. So notice plus, then it's waiting for me to click another cell. So I go to the next subtotal, plus next subtotal, plus, and so forth. As long as you keep hitting your plus sign after you click, it's going to let you do it all the way down. And then when I'm at the end, I hit enter to accept that, and we just double check it. And just to confirm that we got them all, we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different subcategories. And let's verify that if you just go through it. Just make sure we've got housing, food, and so forth. So just keep double checking. Um, now one more thing, I got to do this guy, which is the the dark blue accent I chose for that one. And this would be taking my total income, all money coming in the door, that would be this, minus my total expenses, all money going out the door. So I click on this guy, type in equals to let it know, Excel know that I'm doing a formula. Scroll up, click on this cell, hit my minus key, because I'm subtracting, notice up here, H6 minus, and then I scroll all the way down and click on this guy, the total expenses. Hit enter. Let's see if it worked. H6 minus H90. Perfect. All right. Uh, that'll be it for today. Uh, for, so for today, we're just simply putting in zeros for everything. And then later, you'll be instructed on what numbers to put in for your personal monthly budget.